Okay, well, let's get into a reading for the new moon in Libra. Happening just a couple days after the autumnal equinox. Welcome to autumn. And to Libra season. Let's see what's good. My goodness. We have the Ace of Swords, the Six of Swords, and Strength, Judgment, the Ten of Pentacles, and the High Priestess in reverse. The Sun, the Wheel of Fortune, and Death also in reverse. And the Seven of Wands as the theme. Okay. In general, this is about letting something go. Um, that's sort of what this feels like. We're moving um, from a situation with choppy waters into a simpler situation, something that feels more peaceful, more calming. Um, and we're doing that by looking at what's around us in our life and choosing what does not belong. There's definitely um, a reading about releasing something here. You know, the new moon in Libra, Libra it rules the seven health of partnerships, and it's about how we relate to others. It may be that relationships are ending at this time, or we need to release and forgive somebody. Mm, I will say that forgiveness um, and gratitude is the number one surefire way to um, do manifestation work with the new moon. If like you have real intentions about uh, what you'd like to bring into your life um, um, from the new moon um, and in the two weeks that follow that go into the next full moon, the micro moon cycle, or for um, the next six months for when we have the full moon in Libra, you know, next year. So, a little bit about the past of this situation is that I feel like there has been a lack of focus or clarity around um, a situation that has maybe um, felt not so good. I feel like it, it has dimmed the light um, of whatever it is you're dealing with. So something may, may feel like it's not something you want to be focusing on right now because there's either um, you found out the truth about something. Really, it's it's more. It almost feels like there's been like a, a necessary but negative truth that is calling you to reassess a situation or a relationship. Something definitely needs to be released here in order to move towards something that's more peaceful. Um, strength is here. That's Leo energy. And strength relates to this time of year in the sense that strength is fear with compassion for oneself. So our fears, our subconscious, everything that um, we would categorize in the pocket of our shadow selves, um, strength is compassionate. Strength is compassionate toward themselves and they tame the lion with a with a gentle hand. The lomniscuit above her head is sort of like everything returns to balance. So in some ways, there's an invitation here to have faith, to have confidence in yourself, and to have more compassion for yourself. And I also see a very strong invitation to um, connect inner into your intuition to see what wants to be changed. If you don't yet know what wants to be changed, we have to discover that. If you have ideas or understandings about what wants to change, then tap into your intuition um, to figure out what is the best way to release. What is the best way to release? Whatever this is about. That card. Oh, it just says, let go of the past. Don't look towards the past. Maybe be a little bit more playful. Maybe there's something about being playful here. Page of Wands. We're not connecting the potential of this situation to reality. Uh, maybe we didn't have a very realistic outlook on what th this was about. 
the situation from the past. And the king of wands, but now we do. Uh, but now we know. I feel like now you know that there is action you can take, that you have agency to shift this, the direction of whatever it is you're dealing with, and you do it by releasing, by letting it go. Releasing your faith and trust into the universe and say, I know that I will get what I deserve. Because it's Libra season now, and Libra is justice, harmony, karmic energy. What you put into it is what you get out of it. And so... I see that there's definitely a lot of energy being put into wanting to make a decision or wanting to assess something and to wrap your mind around something um, in order to move forward. And it's saying the best way to do that is to just let go and trust. Hmm, this might be an interesting... Um, there might be an interesting song for this one, so make sure you check out the description below if you're into listening to some music that vibes with this reading. Thanks so much for watching, make sure you like the video, and I'll see you on the next one.